wrapping up the video with the scar. In my opinion, you can, say, you can even say that, you know, with what they what the you gotta do, push it forward. What's up, guys? Connor with Guns and Stuff here. And the other day, I got myself, I finally got myself an aim point. This is a T1 micro. This is not a T2, so it's not the latest and greatest. But I'm really, really liking it. I sighted it in the other day. I've only had about 100 rounds through this thing, and I just wanted to do a quick first impressions type deal. I've had it for just not even 48 hours yet. First thing that you can see and that you can tell, I mean, this thing is pretty pretty small. Here's a just to, something to give you reference. There's a 20 round 5.56 PMAG and there's the aim point. So I mean it's pretty pretty small. It's very light. The optic itself according to aim points website says three ounces just this. This is a an LRP mount and a 39 millimeter spacer here. This whole thing optic and mount weighs about 6.34 ounces or 180 grams. So there's that. This has adjustment knob is here for your intensity of your red dot. So right now it's on zero. And so that's one, two, three, four. The first four are night vision. So there's five, six, seven, there it is. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And that 12 is like really, really bright. It's not, it doesn't look this intense with your eye. Obviously the camera's picking up a little bit more than what your eye can see, but um. But yeah, it's a two MOA dot in there. It does look a little bigger. I have some pictures and stuff. It does look a little bigger on the camera, but it's it's a very fine two MOA dot. So what that means is that 100 yards, the dot is going to cover up two inches of your target. 200 yards, four inches, and so on, so on, so on. Uh, I'm really excited to get out and run it. it. It's really, really light. Now, remember, I'm used to running my... I'm coming from an EOTech. I took this off my AR and I put this on my AR. I'm used to this, so this piece of glass is a lot bigger than this piece of glass, as you can see. I'll have some pictures. So it might take a little bit of getting used to to, to get up on target quick with that small of a piece of glass, but that's fine. I'm, I'm totally cool with it. Another thing I did notice about this, not saying it's bad or good, the, the front... I don't know if it's the, the rear lens or the front lens. It kind of has a bluish hue to it. It's not necessarily, it's a clear piece of glass. You can see through it fine. It's just, I mean, you can almost kind of see it here. I have a picture, but yeah, it's not very good. But um, yeah, there's the EOTech. And another cool thing is these are your adjustment knobs. And what you can do is you see there's two little dots or little points there. You can just unscrew this. And this pretty much is an adjustment tool. So see those two holes there? Just goes in just like this. And then you can adjust. And it also says up and right. So you know what way is what, which is pretty awesome. So, I, I mean, like I said, this is not a review. This is just a first impressions. The battery life on these things is said to be really, really well. I, Like I said, I've never had an aim point. So I can't really speak for it yet. But, I mean, it's obviously aim points quality is great. They're built really, really well. I'm really excited to run it. Um, a couple other, I'm trying to think of some other features here. I think it's a like a anti-reflective coating. I'm not too sure about that, but um, yeah, I'm really excited to get out and run it. Quick detach here. This is a uh, LRP mount. I don't know if that's made by Aimpoint or someone else. I'm not too sure, but it fits right on my AR. I've only put, like I said, 100 rounds through it, and I'll put a couple pictures of groups. I was only shooting at 25 yards to get it sighted in. But it's light, it's small, it's probably really quick once you start, you know, trying to get up quick with it. Really excited to start shooting with it. And I'm gonna definitely gonna have a video. I'm thinking about doing like a aimpoint versus EOTech versus Trigicon video, just to kind of pros and cons of each and what you might like and what might you might not like. I'm definitely gonna start writing that out and get outside and start doing that video for you guys. But thanks for um for all the supporters liking my videos and commenting, I do appreciate that. I almost got 100 subscribers here. I'm really excited to get over 100. So if you like this video, please comment, share, like, all that good stuff. Definitely going to have some more videos at this aim point. Thanks for checking it out. Connor with Guns and Stuff, signing out. See you in the next one.